Hello everybody in Facebook land. It's time for Facebook Live with me, Barb Mullican, on my Facebook page, Stampin' is my job. So, I hope everybody's had a great week. I'm just going to check my little goodie pad here to make sure that I see myself, and I do, so that's awesome. Hopefully I can't see my roots that are uh, needing to be colored. I'll be getting that taken care of next week, so thankful uh, for that getting done. Um, I'm trying to think. I hope you guys were able to see me live. Hello, ladies, and you're already sharing. Thank you so much. Um, I just forgot I was going to say I got so excited and then I lost my train. I thought, oh, I said, in case you didn't uh, see it, last Friday I went live on this very same page. So you could scroll down a little bit after we're done here and you could watch it. I got my Everything is Rosy bundle uh, last Friday, so I went live, and actually I went live on Saturday because Friday it got here really late. So Saturday morning I went live with it, and I kind of showed everything that was in the kit, and then I kind of made a card on the fly. I kind of had it in my mind what I wanted to make, and then I just designed it and did it while I was live, so that was kind of a, a new thing for me. I never, ever do that. Whenever I uh, make a video or do a live presentation, I always have um, my project already done. I've already made it once and then I have all the things cut so I can make it again. So that was a really interesting thing for me to kind of do it on the fly in front of uh, people watching me. So that was kind of cool. Hello everyone. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that very much. Oh my gosh. Hi from Australia. What time is it in Australia, Michelle? That seems like it must be like four o'clock in the morning or something. Ah, that's early. <coughs> so anyways, we can talk about the Everything is Rosy um, a little later on in the video because I'm going to make a little another project uh, with it for you today. And then I'm also going to show you um, the other projects that I've made with it so far uh, because it's just so gorgeous that I can't stop making stuff with it because it's so pretty. And let's see, we have Debbie and Kathy and who else we have? Donna and Tina and Bonnie. So hello everyone. Thanks for joining me. Um, just a little reminder, FYI. Uh, if you guys are wanting to subscribe for the April Paper Pumpkin Kit, uh, the um, Hugs from Shelly. This is one of the cards that it makes. I've showed this the past few weeks. We did get to make one of these at on stage. I mean, you need to be subscribed by tomorrow um, in order to get that kit. And it's going to be super cute. And um, I can't really wait and check that out. The envelopes are even <gasps> have fancy lining in them. So that's really fun. So tomorrow, May 10th, is the deadline for that excuse me, to get your paper pumpkin kit if you so desire to have one. Also, just in case you weren't aware, last week's demonstrators were able to pre-order things out of the new catalog. So Stampin' Up! gives us a list of items that they allow us to order and then we can order them. And there was like, there were a few things on there. I mean, they don't, the whole catalog, obviously we can't choose from the whole catalog that goes live uh, for us and you as customers on June 4th. But we were able to order quite a few things like the new in colors, uh, the new in color ribbons, stuff like that. And I did have some things from when we were able to order from after on stage last month. And so I didn't order um, a ton of stuff because I already had a lot of the things. Um, so I'll be getting that stuff probably early next week. And then I did order my catalogs for you local girls. Um, so they should be here also next week. So then I will get them prepped and um, all my goodies stuffed into them. And then they will be ready for you guys to pick them up. Uh, let's see who else is watching us. Oh, hello, Andrea and Carol and Carol and Joyce and Brenda. So hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. So anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have some new stuff coming in. So but I do have if you guys want to see them. I have some sneak peeks, some swaps that I've been working on. I'm going to kind of show them maybe a little bit quickly. <gasps> One. Almost the same, but not. That one. That one. That one. And then here's some cards we made it on stage. That. That. And there's one more. And that. So I've been really busy making some swaps so that I can uh, show everybody these fabulous new products that we have to share. So that's super exciting. Um, and then I do want to give away the cards that I made last week. So last week I made a really fun, uh, a couple of fun different cards. One of them was the uh, screen card, room divider card that was uh, shared with me by my friend Angela, who is also a customer and she's on here, I think. So this is the screen card that I made last week. And then we made this fun little polka dot goodie here using the Amazing Life stamp set. 
and then I made one of these file folder cards with the envelope punch board that is retiring. Um, so that's kind of fun. And then you just open it up and then it just actually looks like a little file folder. So that's really cute. So the winner of the cards is Sylvia Keller. So Sylvia, I do need you to message me with your address so that I can get these out to you. Um, yeah, sometime next week because I need to use them on Saturday <laughs> for a class. So anyways, we'll get those out to Sylvia when she messages me her address. Okay, and I did want to show you guys, I do have a couple more uh, samples of that same polka dot birthday card. You could literally do this with any colors you guys want. Um, so this one uses the, what is this, Gorgeous Grape, Night of Navy, and Flirty Flamingo. And then the other one that I did is the Grapefruit Grove, Pear Pizzazz, and Night of Navy. So they're all identical except the colors, and they're so, it's so easy to do this and just switch out the colors. So just put your favorites in there. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so what else? Oh, just in case you guys were wondering, if you wanted to become a demonstrator this month, that would be awesome. I'd love for you to join my team. And did you know that in your starter kit, you can choose pre-order products from the brand new catalog? Yep, that is exactly right. You heard what I said. You can choose the same stuff that I got to pre-order. You guys can add that to a starter kit if that's what you uh, would like to do. So I would love to have you message me if you have any questions about that. Uh, you can message me, barb at barbstamps.com, in my email, and then I can answer your questions if you're interested. So the kit is, uh, let's see, $99 plus tax if you have tax in your area, and then it's $125 worth of merchandise that you can get out of the catalog. Also, my Big Shot at Home class will be starting again this month, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I think uh, I see Jerry on here. Jerry usually does my class, so... I don't know if she's going to again, but we'll find out. I also have my In Color Club coming up, which is uh, for five months, you pay $33.99, which includes your priority shipping. And every month you get a different color um, with an ink pad, a refill, a marker, half a pack of card stock, four sheets of the designer series paper, 18 of the faceted dots. I think that was all. There's like six or seven different things. And then if you want to add the Stampin' Blends to your monthly club, you can do that for an extra $10. I'll pay the tax on that for you. And then, of course, we have catalog product shares that I do have available right now on my blog, barbstems.com. You can check that out. I've got the I Want It All. Hello, is the Rose Gold Shimmer Paint going to be for purchase? No, it is not, Adrienne. Sorry, it is exclusive to that kit. So, um, yeah. Anyway, Oh, every time I answer questions, I lose my train of thought. Oh, product shares. Yeah, we have the ribbon share, the paper share, the I want it all, just the embellishment shorts. You can kind of mix and match which things you want. Um, and you can just email me your uh, selections, and I'll be getting PayPal invoices out a little later this month. And yeah. And I think that is all that's going on besides the Everything is Rosie kit that I'll show you, like I said, when I am when we're going to make our project with it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and flip the old camera around because I want to show you a present that I got from one of my very dear friends. And so I will flip it and I'll show you. So we'll do that pretty quickly. Hopefully that doesn't cause anybody any grief. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit because I know that sometimes um, you guys can't see as well. Unless I zoom in just a tad, and I try not to zoom in too much because I want to make sure you can still... Oh, goodness, now my camera just came out. Um, that you can still see what I'm doing, but um, that it's not... Uh, what am I trying to say? So you can see what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to say. Good Lord. Okay, so let me get my stuff for my first project. <coughs> Let's do this one. Okay. <clears throat> this is kind of a different, fun kind of card. Um, so we're going to use a lot of different ink colors for this. So we've got some lovely lipstick, some pool party, some Bermuda Bay, some gorgeous grape, and some granny apple green. And then we're going to use that just lovely, delicious um, two-toned ribbon of the, what do you call this? Coastal Cabana and the granny apple green. We're going to use that. We're using a couple stamp sets that are retiring the balloon celebration and the Thoughtful Banners. They're both retiring. This one has a couple of coordinating punches. The Duet Banner Punch is one of them um, that is retiring with it, but then the Classic Label Punch is not retiring, so that's good. Um, so if you do um, have this punch, I would highly recommend getting this set, because look at all those words and all those phrases you can put together to fit in there. Anyway, and then the balloon uh, set. So we've got the two punches. I'm going to have to like spread my stuff out here. Okay, let me grab my papers. Oh, I forgot to cut something. 
Why do I always do that? Where's my ruler? Because now I don't remember what size this is supposed to be. So I'm cheating here and I'm looking at the piece. You know, I told you because I already made the card. So two and a half by three and three quarters. I need to get a piece of white that measures that. Where's the piece of white? Here we go. Sorry, guys. I always think I'm ready. And then there is always something that I still have to do. Okay. There. So what we have here is a piece of whisper white. I'm using thick whisper white and this is your five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I have a layer of the uh, gorgeous grape that is four by five and a quarter. A layer of coastal cabana that is three and three quarters by five. And then this piece of white which is two and a half by three and three quarters and that's going to go on to a piece of granny apple green that measures just a little bit more than that. Let's see here. Two and three quarters by three and a half, no four, two and three quarters by four. So yeah, these, those layer together right. Okay, so then what we also have is some designer series paper. I'm gonna head it out here, what are you gonna do with it? Oh my goodness, I literally, oh here it is. So I literally had it, now I lost it. So I've got this, which one is this? This is the How Sweet It Is. And this is a lot of fun. It kind of goes with that candy set that we have in the occasions catalog. So it's just bright, fun, delicious patterns of paper. But I'm using this a diagonal stripe here. Hello, Kathy. Nice to see you on here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have gone ahead and cut two, well, either already done, but I cut two rectangles out of the paper. Okay, let's see, I think they go together, but I just don't remember how, because I had them like this, like this, like this. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You'd cut two pieces of your designer series paper, two, I think it's three and three quarters by two and three quarters? Lies, three by three and three quarters. Okay, so you've cut two pieces of designer series paper and they're both three by three and three quarters. Then, you're gonna bring in a paper trimmer and you're gonna cut one of them like so. I'm gonna move those pads out of the way so I can bring this in. Okay, so you would lay this on the trimmer. The points are in the track like that and you're gonna cut that, okay? Then the other one you're gonna lay on there and cut it the opposite direction. So can I send they both in there? So this one we have from that point to that point, and then this one we have from that point to that point. I mean, it almost looks the same, but it's not, because if it was like this, they'd be the same, but I'm cutting them opposite, okay? Like that. So then you have all these triangles. You're gonna have to pair them up like that, one from each section. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring in one of your pieces of cardstock. In our case, it's the Coastal Cabana layer. And we're gonna lay these on here and we're gonna glue them down. So I'm just gonna add a small bead of glue down the edges here, just a tiny bit. Okay. And then we're just gonna put that right in the corner and I gotta get a little closer because I don't have my glasses on. Story of my life. Do I ever have my glasses on? There's been times I've walked out of my house and started driving down the street without my glasses on. And all of a sudden I think to myself, oh heavens, I don't have my glasses on. Thankfully, I have a pair of prescription sunglasses in my car. So I still have, I still can see. But then if I have to go into a store or something, you know, you look, I don't know. I don't like going into a store with my sunglasses on. I feel, I feel like I'm trying to hide something or else I feel like a celebrity. I don't know. Okay, so I've got those on there, so I've made a little pocket now in here. I don't want to push too hard on it because I don't, my glue isn't quite set yet, but we have a pocket in there, okay? Then we need to do a little stamping on this, and so I need to bring in my clouds. So the clouds that are in this birthday set here, there are two. There is a large cloud and a smaller cloud. And you know what? I tell you guys this every time I do something live. Ugh, don't follow what I do 
do what I say, not what I do. Because technically you would want to obviously have your clouds stamped on here before you put your designer series paper on. Yeah, every time I do that. <sighs> I drive myself crazy. Okay, so I've got Pool Party ink. We're going to try to wing this. We'll see what happens. And I'm going to ink that up with said cloud and just kind of stamp it on there. Need another cloud. Try not to get the designer series paper if I can help it. Yeah, you can see how much easier this would be if I would have done it the proper way. But I think I might be able to fix it. If, if nothing else, you guys know this for a fact. If nothing else, when you come and watch me live, you learn how to fix mistakes. That's probably the best thing I do for everyone is teach people how to fix their mistakes. Okay, we're gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna see. All right, so we're gonna stamp that like that. It didn't work, so I'm covering up. You can see I'm covering up my designer service paper. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to get this one down in here. I'm pressing really hard. That's not quite as good, but I think it'll be okay. So, note to self, everyone, very rarely ever follow what I do, do what I say, which is stamp your clouds before you put your pattern paper on. Yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to add it to the layer of grape and then the layer. See, you already had some clouds on there too. Wouldn't that have been handy if I had just put the paper on that side? Yes, Barbie would have. Okay, so we're going to layer this to this. Okay. Press that into place. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Now I need a new piece of that. Some days things work out really well, and some days they don't work out at all. I have a bad feeling about today, guys. Okay, so here's a new piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. I guess if nothing else, like I said, I just keep showing you what not to do. So take notes from me. Don't leave your ink pads open. Looks like you prepared and forgot. Yes, that is exactly what happened, Angela, because I prepared this card this morning. So it's been, you know, six hours since I actually made it. So of course I would forget what I'm doing. Okay, so again, don't leave your ink pads open because it's a bad deal. But we do need to have them open because we do need to stamp some stuff. We do need to stamp a few little goodies here. We need some balloons. So our little pocket is basically done. Okay, so that's going to end up going inside there. All right, so now we need to do some stamping and some punching. So we are going to first start out with, I've got some lovely lipstick ink here. I'm going to bring in a foam pad because... When you're stamping with photopolymer stamps, sometimes a pad is helpful. Okay, so we're going to go lovely lipstick. And this is an outline image of a balloon. So I'm going to get that. And then we've got the inside, the filler. And I'm going to stamp it off one time. And then I'm going to over stamp this like that. Okay, so we've got that one done. Then we need some gorgeous grape do the same thing. So we've got the balloon, the outline image here. Okay, and then we've got the inside. And then we'll go here on the inside of that. Okay, and then to clean my large one off because I am going to use it in another color. Okay, might as well clean off these. And you guys, just so you know, and I said my order that's going to be here next week, we have this new stamp cleaning pad that is designed. It's a solventy kind of something that's put into an ink pad looking thing. So it looks exactly like a memento pad, except it's got a white pad in here that's got some solvent in it. And it removes the stains from your photopolymer stamps and your and your rubber stamps too. I'm most excited about it for photopolymer because my photopolymer stamps get stained really easily and I hate that. So anyway, that's exciting. That's coming out in the new catalog. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we've got Bermuda Bay for our outline here. 
and then we're going to go pool party. I think I might stamp it off. Let's just see how it looks. If it's too dark or if it's not quite dark enough. No, I think that's fine. Okay. So we've got our three balloons. I'm just going to clean those off so that I don't make a mess because you know what just happened. Literally just happened. Okay. Then we also need um, some sentiments. And so I did take the sentiments out of the Thoughtful Banner set. So I am actually using, where's my little stamps here? I am using Happy and Birthday, because I know it's on here somewhere, because I have it. Yep, Happy Birthday and Sweet Friend. Okay, so the Happy and the Birthday are going to go on the inside, and I need the Granny Apple Green for this. So here is my label stamp, and I'm going to ink that up in the Bermuda Bay. And we're going to stamp it right there. And we're going to stamp it again. And we're going to stamp it a third time because I need three of these guys. Okay. Then I'm going to move some stamps out of my way so they're, I don't have a lot of clutter here. Okay, so we've got the word sweet. And we're going to do that in granny apple green. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to kind of push it right over here to the edge. And then I have the word friend here on this other block and I'm going to do that in the gorgeous grape. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to do, let's see, happy. Oh no, I put it in the green. Or does it make any difference? What do we think? Yeah, green is fine. Okay, so we're doing it in the granny. And now we're going to put it at this end of the label. Happy. If you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and um, ask me. I'm happy to answer them, providing I know the answer. You know how that goes. And we'll put the birthday right here. Okay, those are pretty good. Again, I'm going to clean these off really quickly so that... As they're laying around here, they're not going to get ink on anything. Get my clouds and my label. Okay, so we have our classic label punch. We're going to bring that in. And we're going to line that up. Punch that out. I'm going to do the same thing with these two here. So the happy and birthday and then we have our balloon punch here so i'm going to get my large blue one my large purple and then the lovely lipstick now we're going to need to cut a little bit of that off. Okay. Slide that in there and get that punched right off. Okay. So we have three balloons and three sentiment pieces. And then the rest we can toss. Okay. I need my little balloon strings. Okay. So we're going to bring in our little piece of white. And we're going to do some balloon string. So the set does come with a balloon string. So I'm going to ink that up kind of gently. I don't want to make a mess out of it. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want my balloons to be. Try to be gentle. Ink it up again. And actually, I think I'm going to twist it. Flip it so that the string is a little bit different angle. So that way they don't look exactly the same. And then this one will have go just a tiny bit higher, I think. Yay! Sometimes working with really skinny strings like that, little skinny stamps, can be a little bit hard. But if you just kind of take your time and use a gentle touch, I find that I have a lot better luck than if I, you know, try to hurry through it and smash it down really hard because then I end up just making a mess with it. So, yes, I think we are done with the ink. Put those away. So now 
we can bring in some dimensionals. Brand new sheet. Where do we start? Got three of them here. So we're going to get those on. Okay. And this punch is pretty good, but it's not perfect. So sometimes I like to go back in and just kind of snip off just a tiny bit around the edges of some of these. It works, you know, pretty dang good. I think it was designed for it mostly. But these balloons are kind of like not perfectly symmetrical, as you can kind of see. They're just a little bit wonky. And so the punch, of course, isn't wonky. It's perfect all the way around. And so I find that if I just kind of trim just a tiny bit, kind of follow the wonkiness of the balloon, it just looks a little bit better. Okay, so we are going to add these colored balloons to our strings here. And let's see, that one, we want it to be lower, higher, lower, maybe we'll go lower. And then red one, like that, okay. And then our happy and our birthday, hello, we have Valerie just joined us, hello Valerie. So those two are going to go together, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of the birthday strip. And do something like that. Okay. And then we'll add just a tiny bit more glue to both of these little strips here. Hello, Evelyn. Thanks for joining me. And again, if you guys want to share the video, uh, that would be awesome. Let's see if we can get a ton more people to watch me here. I would be super happy. To have a ton more people watching me okay this we're done with move that out of the way and so this is going to go on to this but not before we bring in some of that yummy yummy ribbon thank you valerie appreciate that and then we're going to just kind of pull it together so that we have uh some of each colors some of each color showing so we need a little pull tab so that somebody can pull this out of um, out of here. Add some tape like so, and then we can just add this with some glue. And of course, this kind of a card you could do it with you know any designer series paper you guys have, or you can even do it with like just colored card stocks or. Um, Let's say you ran your pieces of cardstock through an embossing folder. You could do that. So that would be really fun too. Okay, so we have that stuck into our little diagonal there. And then I have one more. Oh, here we go. This little one that says sweet friend we're going to add to the front. So about mm, like that. Is that Good Lord, I can never tell if it's crooked until then I go to take a picture of it later. I'm like, oh, that was crooked. That's nice. Like that. So there it is. And then the last thing we can do, if you want, is we do have some of these fun glitter enamel dots that match. The only one that I ran out of was the lovely lipstick. So we're not going to use that, obviously. But I wonder if we could, like, add to the balloons. If that, if that would look how. That would look kind of cool. Maybe a medium sized one up there. And then we could add maybe a green one over here, down here. Maybe something like that. Or does that look like two eyeballs? That, no, that looks weird. We should put that down here. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Does that look weird to anyone? Or is it just me that thinks that looks weird? Let me know in your comments. Does it look weird? Weird or not weird? Just answer my question. Weird, not weird. There's just something about that to me that looks weird. All right, so while we are waiting for the weird, not weird verdicts to come in, I'll clean up my mess. And so then, you know, as I told you guys, I took two different... Yeah, that's what I thought too. It does look weird. What's up with that? Why does that look weird? Maybe. Should I do this? 
surround the sweet friend. Is that better? <laughs> Everyone says weird. I know there was just some. Oh, now I have not weirds. <laughs> now I don't know what to do, you guys. Because I thought it looked weird. Some of you say it doesn't look weird. And some of you say it does look weird. So, hmm. I don't know. Looked like eyeballs. That's kind of what I thought, too. So I feel more comfortable with them down here. So I'm going to leave them down there. But if you make the card, please go ahead and put your dots anywhere you want. So like I said, when you cut your papers in half, the bottoms of the balloon where the ribbon is. All right, I'm going to... Well, I can't though, because then that one's in the way. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. That's what I'm going to do. It's now done. Okay, so like I said, you will have two opposite. So you could make two of these cards with your designer series paper. Okay. All right, so we're done with that. All right, so someone's going to win this weird slash not weird card next week. So go ahead and share the video to be put in the drawing for that. And then I'm going to clean up this part and get some more stuff out. All right, we're going to bring in the everything is rosy because it's amazing. Hello, Suzette. What does Jerry say? Maybe some liquid glass. Jerry, we don't sell liquid glass, so I don't have that. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, but what I do sell is this amazing kit called everything is rosy. And it's amazing. All right, I gotta move some stuff out of the way. I don't need this punch. I don't need this stamp set. Okay, so the Everything is Rosy uh, product medley kit bundle, whatever you want to call it, is for sale through the end of May or while supplies last. Okay, so in the kit, in case you are not aware, you get a stamp set and a set of dies. So here's the stamp set. And it has a lot of fun fonts. I really like the font. I like the, I don't know what these different fonts are, but I like this kind of curly-ish font along with the straight letters. I think that looks really cool having them mixed. And then you also get a set of dies. So basically this would be like what Stampin' Up! would consider a bundle stamp set and the dies. And then these are what the dies do. So you get this really fun long border piece here. Uh, some fun vine images, and then you get the stamped images that you can crop out also. So um, that is super fun. You get these uh, mirrored, uh, mirrored embellishments, and they all come with a little protective cover so that you can peel that off. Uh, you can kind of see this one here. The cover's already come off um, to kind of protect them so they don't get scratched, which is really fun. Uh, you get two rolls of ribbon. You get the uh, Melon Mambo Roost ribbon and then the Knight of Navy Rose Gold Metallic Edged ribbon. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Then you get six sheets of die cuts. Uh, mostly they are labels, except the colored ones obviously are not. So those are just ready to go, right? To stick right on your project. You've got the labels that are trimmed in the rose gold. Got some fun elements there, little ones there. So we're going to be using one of these in this project that I'm going to make. And then you get the designer series paper. You get 48 six by six sheets of the designer series paper. And can you just see the shine off these patterns? Oh my gosh. That one in the back side. This one with these dainty little petite flowers that have the gorgeous accents. And then the back side of that one. The Melon Mambo Rose Gold. Oh my gosh, so pretty striped blue on the back. This has to be one of my favorite patterns right here. I just love the navy and the melon mambo together. I just think it is oh, made it's gorgeous. And then the vines with the stripes on the back. So that. Then you get eight pieces of the rose gold foil. Super shiny, super pretty. It's almost like too much of a glare, so we're going to cover it up. Oh, and then this is just some pieces I was messing around with. And then here's some scraps that I was messing around with. And then you also get the rose gold shimmer paint that is exclusive to the kit. You can't buy this uh, from Stampin' Up! Um, by itself. And then I went ahead and mixed up. Oh, I keep needing to take this. This isn't water anymore. Just so in case you were in case you weren't in case you didn't know that. So I did mix this with some 70% rubbing alcohol. I filled the paint up about this far where my finger is at the bottom, and then added 70% rubbing alcohol. And then you just shake, 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 shake. And then when you spritz it out. I've got three samples here. This one is spritzed on white, so it's got like a pink undertone, and then it has the shimmer, which is really pretty. 
I sprayed it onto Melon Mambo, same kind of thing. And then I spritzed it on the Night and Navy. So that is the kit. And the kit is $80. And I realize that sounds like a lot of money, but you actually get about $100, $510 worth of stuff in it once you figure out what everything costs based on, you know, other things we have in the catalog that are similar. So here are some projects that I have been working on already that I think are super fun. So this one, you can see I used that long edge piece in the rose gold, super pretty. And then I added some designer series paper to the inside. This is one of those printed die cuts. So this literally took me no time at all. And these little tiny dots, those are me taking the stylus end of my take your pick tool, the little ball end, dipping it into the lid of the paint and adding little dots. And speaking of adding little dots, I added little dots to the entire background of this card base here. So all these dots are done with my stylus tool and dipping it into the lid of the paint. And then I just took one of the pieces of designer series paper. It was two and a quarter. I cut it into thirds and laid it on this piece of, do you guys see this pink? This is one of our new in colors here. This is Rococo Rose back here. Super pretty. And then we have our sentiment and then another die cut and a little stamped image. So you get so much stuff in this kit for $80. It's unbelievable. And then I made this one uh, making the pleated or um, curtain fold here on the edge. And then here's some of those mirrored elements, embellishments. You can see how shiny those are. They really catch the light. Super fun. Add some more of those little dots right here. I've been having the most fun dipping my stylus tool into the paint and just adding dots all over the place. It's ridiculous how much fun I've had. Here's the card I made on the fly last Saturday when I went live to show you everything in the kit after I got it. So pretty. And then here's a little thing I made for my stamp room. Um, of course, it didn't come with this ruched ribbon on here. I cut off the ugly white ribbon that was on there and added the Melon Mambo. I'm going to hang it in my stamp room. It says, don't let worry spoil your happy. Uh, you know how we all get a little worrisome sometimes, and this will just be a little reminder to me to quit that. So I did add one of the mirrored elements there, um, some of the fun little sprigs out of rose gold foil that I die cut, a little tiny bow, and I just think that is so cute, and I'm going to hang that up in here. So those are a few of the things I've done so far with the kit. Obviously, I'm going to be making more things, and we're making a, something really cute today. So let's get on with our cuteness for the day. So we are going to be making a little chocolate box to house some chocolates. And there's the chocolates. And I'm try to get some of this stuff out of the way so I don't, you know, make a mess. Put my papers and stuff back. And my little elements there, my dies, okay, and my stamps. We'll put that all back in there. Okay, so this was a six by six uh, sheet of cards or of designer series paper. Oops, it must be like this. Is that how it went? Or did I cut it off from this side maybe? I guess honestly, it doesn't even make any difference, does it? Now it's gonna bug the heck out of me. What the heck? Here? Yes, okay, there we go. It was six by six. I cut off a two inch piece. Easy enough. So then I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I'm going to cut this down the middle. So it's going to be uh, two one inch strips. Oops, get the blade up there. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the strips at three. So then I will have four one by three strips. Okay, there we go. That was easy. Okay, so these little strips I'm going to wrap around the candy. So what I like to do is I like to kind of uh, do this with the bone folder at first just to kind of get them used to wanting to wrap around my chocolate. Okay, there we go. And then I like to use a glue dot. Let's bring a glue dot in here. See you, Mary Ellen. I'm going to add one glue dot there, one glue dot there. So I have two glue dots and I'm just going to wrap this around the chocolate. I'm just going to press it onto the bottom, wrap it around and press it onto the bottom. So then I will have four little chocolates. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the glue dots on all these pieces first. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to wrap these around 
I love covering chocolates. I just think covered chocolates is like the cutest thing ever. You can't go wrong giving somebody a gift with covered chocolates, honestly. And then our last one. So that did not take very long at all. Okay, so we have four chocolates. Now we have our other piece here. So now this piece is four by six. So we're going to trim an eighth of an inch off. We're going to put the long side up at the top here, and we're going to cut off an eighth of an inch. So it's actually going to be five and seven eighths by four. Okay, so you could use that for something. I don't know what, but perhaps something. All right, so then we're going to score this. Got my little cheat sheet here, and we're going to score it um, five eighths of an inch all the way around. So each side, and I'm going to use this side of the trimmer over here. So this first skinny line here is a quarter, this is a half, and then we have five eighths right here. Okay, so we're going to score that, and we're going to do that on each side. Okay, and then one more. And then leaving this long side at the top, we're going to score it at two and five eighths, which is right there. And then three and one quarter. Okay, so we've got five eighths on all sides and then two and five eighths and three and a quarter. So then we just want to fold it on all of our score lines. So this box is going to be small and adorable. Okay, so then we're going to come in and we're going to snip, whoops, that, didn't, that slipped right out of my hand. Oh, I don't think I folded that one. Yes, I did. And we're going to snip these. So we've got the two on this end going in, and then we've got the two on this end. Okay, and then we have this little guy in the middle. We're going to cut on both of these score lines here. Okay. There we go. And then we can just assemble the thing. So I'm going to start by adding some, where's my liquid glue, to these little uh, tabs at the top. This is going to be like the lid. Okay, so we're going to bring that in. Okay, so there's our little lid, and we're going to bring in these two little tabs in the middle. We're going to glue those. Well, come on, glue. Glue on that one. Glue on that one, and that's going to go down here to the bottom of the box. Just kind of lining those edges up. Press down on it. Okay. And then these last ones, I'm going to hold on just a second because I may have to make them a little tighter because I want, of course, my lid to come over the whole thing. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to put the glue on and then we're going to close the box so that the lid will go over it. Well, if we could get some glue to come out of this silly tube. There we go. That's always helpful if the glue comes out. Okay, so bring the tabs in and then close the box. Okay, so we have our, isn't that just so stinking cute? Oh my gosh, I just love tiny little things. Open that back up, press that into place. And sometimes, you know, if you don't cut perfectly or score perfectly, you might get this little doohickey here. Just cut it off. No one cares. Same thing like here on the lid. I have a tiny little section that needs to be snipped off and a tiny little section right here. There we go. Okay, so then you can put your little chocolates in there. Isn't that cute? But I also want to do one little thing. Oh, I gotta reach for it. I got this little tiny half inch circle punch. And we're going to like put a little thumb hole in here, sort of. I'm trying to make sure that's in the center, just so it just kind of gives it a little bit of something, having that thumb hole. Then we're going to wrap some ribbon around this, tie it in a little bow or a knot. I'm not sure what I want to do. Sometimes 
bows don't work out for me. Sometimes knots don't work out for me. I think we're going to go, hmm, let's see. Well, let's just see what Barb can do. If Barb can tie it in a bow, great. We'll leave it in a bow. If Barb can't, then we're going to have it be a knot because I know I can tie a knot. Sometimes, oh, that's becoming troublesome. I don't have any fingernails. No, that's not tight enough. I wonder if I could tie it in a knot and then tie it in a bow. What do you guys think? Is she talented enough for that? We shall find out. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I'm not convinced that I want it to be a bow yet. We'll see. Because i got to put a tag on here. So then I need to bring in my tags from the kit. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> and I thought I would use this little guy right here. I don't know what you're thinking. Barb, it's too long. I know, right? But we're going to cut it. Okay. So that's going to kind of go here, but it's going to kind of hang off a little bit. So I've got one of the stamps from the set, the one that says, thank you. Well, I had it. Okay, here we go. We're going to play find me. Barb, find me. Hmm. Ugh, I hate it when I have to play find me and I'm not finding me. We may have to change our plan unless I can figure out if I stuck it in a different bucket or if I literally just lost it. Look back here where I was working earlier today. Ugh. So annoyed with myself when I do this. Hmm. See, and I'm always saying, oh, keep your area clean because then you can find stuff. No, you can't. Okay, well, we're going to grab the stamp set and we're going to come up with a different sentiment then maybe. Ooh, how about this little dear friend? That's going to have to work because I lost the thank you. So we've got dear friend in a block as I'm still scanning the area for, I should look in my iPad and see if I see it on my screen. Wouldn't that be funny? Say, oh yeah, there it is. Nope, not showing up. Okay, well, we are going to use Night of Navy ink. Well, that's just nuts because I had an ink spot set up too. What did I do with it? Oh, does that ever happen to you guys? You put something somewhere and then you can't remember where you put it, but you know you had it in your hand and then you lost it. Hmm. Well, I have a Knight of Navy pad in this next box. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna try to maintain my composure here. And we're gonna go with the dear friend. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I also have some little pieces that I've already die cut. And I want to show you this little trick that I did. So I was using my Stamparatus because I was making a lot of these things, you know? So I, I did a template. Where's my template? Here it is. So I took, this is, of course is a template for something else that I was working on. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. So what I did was I have my plate here and it has the three flower images on it. So I inked them up and I stamped them right here on this piece of paper. And I took it over to my Big Shot and I was very meticulous about how I die cut each one so that I die cut them out really, really well. And then I went back to my Big Shot and just had a bunch of scraps of white paper and I just cut out a ton of them, a ton of these little blanks. And then all I had to do was just stick my little blank in there, ink up that flower, da 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 da, and it's ready. And so I'm leaving these the way they are right now because I'm still really much engrossed in using this kit. And I also did one for the leaves. So you can see on the other side of my pad, I have all the leaves. I did the exact same thing, made myself a template. Was it like this or was it like this? I think it was like this. 
again, I inked up all the leaves. I stamped them all and then I took them over to the big shot. I was very meticulous about cutting them out. And then again, I just put it, I just drop a little blank in there, ink it up, press it down and it's perfect every time. So I will definitely be leaving these the way they are um, as long as I'm using this kit frequently because right now it's like my, um, my ride or die. I can't live without it. So I've been using it a lot. Okay, enough about that stamparatus. So because of that, I already have some of these already cut out. So we're going to go ahead and just use one that's already cut. So we've got this little tag. I'm going to scoot that. Maybe we'll scoot it up. I kind of want it to go so it looks like it's kind of hanging there. We're going to snip that in half. So now I have another half of a tag that I could use on another project. I'm going to add one of these little, get some glue action here little flowers to that little tag and then we're going to grab one of those little dots these little mirrored embellishments you can see how i just kind of cracked that so i can throw this in the garbage it just broke no big deal i don't need it it's nothing that you would well i guess if i hadn't have broken it maybe you could figure out something to do with it i don't know what but we'll see so anyways so then we can just take this little dot they're self-adhesive so you can just pick it right off there and I should use my take your pick tool or something and then I can just drop that right in the center of my flower and then I can just peel back this little protective coating and then I have that gorgeous that gorgeous uh, shininess showing and then, you know I do have one of these little guys cut and so I think I might try to shove that under there Maybe we can catch some of that glue. Yeah, I think that'll work. And actually, I'm just going to leave it as a knot. Because I think a bow is going to be a little bit too big and it's going to overshadow my flower and my tag. And I don't want that because it's super cute. All right. And then I actually can do this with a glue dot. So I'm going to be a little bit more meticulous here. And I'm going to get a glue dot. And I'm going to put the glue dot on the ribbon up or on my finger because it stuck onto my finger and not the ribbon okay so we have that on the ribbon and then I'm going to stick my tag onto that little glue dot there so then I can just remove this little belly band if you will and then my friend can easily get their treats but they don't have to ruin any of my beautiful work so there it is, an adorable little box made from this pretty fun paper. I hope you guys liked that. I thought that was fun. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be uh, prize number two or project number two that I'll be giving away next week. And I'll give you a kit rather than that because I'm not going to mail that because depending where you live, you might get melted chocolate. Ew. Okay. So now again, I'm going to clean up my mess and now I'll probably find my stamp and my spot. Driving myself crazy here, trying to find it. Okay, and then we'll get ready for our last project, which also uses some Night of Navy. Okay, what else don't we need? Let's kind of scoop all this stuff off. Okay, so next, we're going to bring in the Geared Up Garage bundle. And it's not retiring, but the bundle pricing on this is. So right now, you can purchase the dies and the stamp set in a bundle for 10% discount. Well, um, on June 4th, when the new catalog goes live, these products are still in the catalog, but they are now sold separately. So you do not get a discount. So any of our bundles that are carrying over, such as the well said, well written bundle, this one is one of our more expensive bundles because you get so many dies and then of course you get the stamps. Um, so this one, you actually save $7.50 buying it now rather than waiting until June or later because it will not be bundled anymore. It'll be separate items. And let's just take a moment to appreciate my little, my little die cheater sheet here. Isn't this adorable? <sighs> Every time I look at this, it just makes me happy. I just smile. The colors are so bright and they pop off the black and it just makes it so easy for me to see all the dies that are in here and what they're actually going to look like once they're cut out. So yeah, let's just give this a little bit of love. It just makes me super happy. Okay. So moving on, we're going to make a Father's Day a card since Father's Day is coming up or, you know, a Husband's Day, Uncle Day, whatever. 
whoever, whatever man you want to celebrate that may happen to be a dad. And we're going to use, along with the Geared Up Garage, we are going to, they're not really doing away with the bundles, Angela. It's just that after a bundle has been in a catalog, if it carries over to another catalog, the bundle discount goes away. Um, so there's like a little bit of a sense of urgency to get those bundles while they are in a current publication, because even though uh, the individual pieces in the bundle are carrying over, the discount does not carry over. So, um, and there are quite a few bundles um, that we have right now, like any of the ones in the occasions catalog that are carrying over, which both of these are. They will not be bundled in the new catalog. They will be sold as individual pieces. And so there will not be a discount associated with them anymore. Okay. So on this Father's Day card, we're going to be using the Memories and More Happiness Blooms cards and envelopes, okay? So what's cool about these is they are designed to fit our Memories and More, let me grab one here, kits, card kits. So they're designed so that you could take these card kits. So I could just take one of these. I could just glue it on here maybe add a sentiment and my card is done and then they do come with printed envelopes like that which is fun um and so there's a few and i've used quite a few of these so i don't have a whole lot left that actually have sentiments on them but like oh here's one here's a little one and that one would go perfectly on the smaller set of cards where is the small one i know i have one because i was just looking at it oh it's right here so like here's a small card You'd glue that thinking of you on it, pop it in an envelope, you're good to go. So it's just a great way if you're in a hurry to make a card, these make really fast cards. But we're not using them to make a fast card today, but we are using them because they are really cool and it's Knight of Navy. So it coordinates with our Everything is Rosy Paper. Now, this is the paper I'm going to use for a Father's Day card. You're probably going, what? What is this called, please? Sharon, you're going to have to say what is what called. I don't know what you're talking about. So this paper, uh, this is one of the two in the kit that's like really Night of Navy-ish. So this is going to make a perfect Father's Day card. And it's going to go in this envelope, and that's going to look super cool. Okay, so I need a strip of white to do some stamping. So I have the car, the best dad uh, kind of little logo element there, and then some Night of Navy ink. So I'm stamping everything on Whisper White. Okay. Oh, whoops, not that yet. The car. Mm. Okay. And then we were. I'm actually going to use... Where is it? The toolbox also. Need a block. Okay. And the toolbox, I think. Can we get it on here? Oh, heavens. Yes, I do believe we can. Okay. Sorry, the card envelope set. Oh, so the card and envelopes, Sharon, are one product. So the card and envelopes, they're in the occasions catalog, so they are retiring. They are the Happiness Blooms, Memories and More cards and envelopes. And then they coordinate with the Happiness Blooms, Memories and More card pack. So it's two separate items, and they're both retiring. Okay. Got that taken care of. All right, I'm going to move these stamps out of the way so I don't get ink on myself. Okay, so... Then what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to color them in with my Stampin' Blends. I'm using the gray. And I know that some of you really don't like uh, watching me color. So I'm going to kind of hopefully do it fast. So I'm just going to kind of color in the, the word dad here so it's not quite so white. Okay, and then I'm going to color the car. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I, I know it takes a while and it can be kind of boring. So, but I would do the light smoky slate all over the whole thing. And then I would come back in with the dark smoky slate and add some details. And of course I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. So I'm going to be coloring outside the lines and the same thing on the toolbox. I'm going to color the toolbox. 
in with the gray also. Okay, so then I would take these over to my Big Shot, use my coordinating dies to cut all these out, and I would get these pieces here, okay? So yay, they're already colored. It's a miracle. So we have the car, the toolbox, and the best dad. And now the best dad die, when you cut it out, you get two pieces. So I ran it through the big shot twice. Once to cut out the sentiment and then once to give myself this kind of little chevron um, emblem type little guy there. Okay, so then I also, and this is very exciting. This is another one of our brand new in colors. This one is called Seaside Spray. It's a very nice light blue. Um, it's not the same as balmy blue at all. That's balmy blue. That's pool party. So you can see they are very, very different. Um, let's see. It might also I think that it's purple. It's not. This is Highland Heather. So it's a very different color than anything we currently have. So I'm excited for us to use that more. And you can see that I have some embossing on there. I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so I would use my Big Shot machine and I would use my Big Shot platform piece, a cutting pad, and then I would take the die. Okay, this is a large gear die and I have it cutting blades up. Okay, and then I would lay, so they would be cutting blades up. How does it go? Like this? Yes. Okay, so then I flipped it over like that. And it doesn't fit perfectly. I don't care. I didn't necessarily need it to do that. And then I'm going to color it, cover it with our Big Shot embossing mats. Uh, we have a hard plastic pad and then we have two silicone mats. This one's blue. The other one's gray. The gray one is a lot thicker. So I just use the blue, put the impressions mat on the top, and then I just ran the whole thing through my Big Shot machine. And then that's what I got. Okay, so we have that nice gear detail there. Okay, so this piece is cut four by six. So it was a six by six piece of that gorgeous paper and I just cut it down so now it's four by six because the cards are like four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then the paper just fits on there perfectly. Then I have this piece here of the uh, Seaside Spray and it measures what? Two and a half by three and three quarters and it's gonna layer on a piece of white that measures four by two and three quarters, okay? So let's go ahead and squirt out some glue and get that on there. Try to center it as best we can, okay? And then that's gonna go on to our card here. Add some more glue. And I want it about here-ish. Oh, and you can see that my white is not quite four, but it's going to be fine. Okay, press that down. Make sure it's even. I think it is. Does that just kill you? It's so, so feminine on the one side and then so manly on the other. Okay, so then that's going to go there. We're going to put our car oh, somewhere down there. Our emblem piece will be somewhere up here ish but I also thought it might be kind of cool if I added a little bit of our uh, Knight of Navy Baker's twine so I don't know exactly what I was thinking okay this one I didn't actually finish I finished it in my mind so <laughs> who really knows what it's gonna look like oh that's too tight okay I don't want it to be too tight hmm how would that actually look if we laid that down? And I may just bag this all together. I may just say, nope, we're not using twine. I hate it and we're done. Um, I think I've just said that. Nope, I'm not using twine. I hate it. We're done. Okay, so now that we've done that, I am going to take some mini dimensionals here and I'm going to add one to each edge of this little emblem 
And then I'm going to add a couple to our dad image here. Maybe put it in the center. The twine. Angela says maybe put the twine in the center. Let's just see here. If we tripled it over again and we put it in the middle. I just don't, I don't know. There's something, there's something wrong with it in my mind that I, it's just not, it's just not working for me. And I don't know what, why. No, I definitely don't think I like it in the middle. If I did do it, I'd have to be up here at the top. But I think I'm just going to move these a little closer together and call that good. So that's my plan. Okay, so we're going to put the emblem on, like half on, half off of that. And then we're going to add the inside piece of that. Um, about like so. And then we're going to add some, where's some regular size dimensionals? Oh, right here. For the car. We'll go ahead and add this for the car. So, oops, I only need two. The car's not that big. Okay, Ugh, get away. And we'll have it kind of hanging off the edge. Oh, it almost pains me to not use this side of the paper. You know what I mean? Do you guys feel me when I say that? It's so pretty. Okay. And then we will do this. I think that's okay. I mean, it's subtle. It's a little more manly, I think. And then I have uh, the other piece, another strip of that that I cut off. And then here's the word happy out of that. Oh, let's just bring it back in again because I just I just got to look at it too, a lot of times because it's just so pretty. The happy out of there. And we're going to decorate the inside of the card. So we're going to add this strip. And this isn't quite long enough, but if I center it, I don't think it's going to matter. No one's going to really care. My dad will just be like, oh, that's that's nice. Thanks for the card. He won't even notice that it's not the right size. Okay, and then I did have, oh my, here we go, toolbox. And I thought I'd just put the toolbox kind of like right down here on the inside. And then my Father's Day stamp right here. And my ink. And I'm just going to... Ink up the Father's Day sentiment. Boy, I've just got too many things in a small space here. Okay, Father's Day. So we're going to stamp Father's Day about like so. Oh my gosh, that is like literally the worst. So we are going to do something different because that was the worst. That's like some seriously crappy stamping right there. So I'm going to bring in a little skinny strip. I just happen to have skinny strips in my stash because I keep them when I cut my white down uh, to make like card layers other than a card base. And I cut them down. I end up with all these little skinny strips that are about like, I don't know, five eighths of an inch or something. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this little flagging of the end here. Boy, I'm really mad at myself. But, again, if nothing else, watching me will help you fix mistakes. Okay. There. That's a little bit better. And then we have the happy. And I should have used multi-purpose adhesive sheets when I cut this out. And I didn't. Uh, could have made my life a little easier, but... We're going to just very sparingly put on this liquid glue. And then we're going to put the happy up here. Oh, no, I'm not as thrilled with this card as I would have been if I hadn't messed up the stamping. It is what it is. Okay, so we have happy Father's Day. Oh, but I did have, I know what I was going to do if I couldn't get that string to work. I was going to bring in one of these little elements here, this little car key, and stick it underneath there. That's what I was going to do. See, sometimes I have a plan. So I'm going to kind of roll that up into a tube-ish. Okay, and then I'm just going to tuck 
the key under there. Okay, there, that's better. I wanted to have something on there. Something a little bit fun. All right, let me get the, all the cards. We'll bring them all back in. And while I'm doing that, remember, uh, use my host code when you order from me in May. Free gifts with purchase. Also remember, everything is rosy bundle. Available now through May 31st or while supplies last. All right, where's my other cards? Uh, oh, here's my cute little, there's my love, yeah, there's my little treat box. So cute. Okay, you guys, I all of a sudden cannot even remember what did I make first. What did I do with it? Oh, yeah, it was that cute striped, uh, diagonal striped card thing. Huh. Well, that's always handy when you lose stuff. Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> Not totally lost. Okay. So here is that card. So I'll bring them all back in. And I just love, look at that envelope. Isn't that fun? It just totally makes the whole card having that printed envelope there. We've got this little guy that slides in and out of there. Oops. With our, we had some issues with that. If you guys are watching the end, you can go back and check out uh, why we ended up sticking those there. And then we have our cute little chocolate box. Yay. And be sure to check my blog at barbstamps.com, guys, because I'm always posting stuff there um, that I don't always get posted here on this page. I try to, you know, multitask and post everything everywhere, but it's a lot of work, this social media thing. Um, yeah, so barbstamps.com is my blog here. My shopping with Barb is my ordering website. So that's it for today. Share the video. Leave me some more comments if you have any questions. I am happy to... Oh, Pam, that's great. You're right. This would be a good card for a new driver. We could just get rid of that best dad up there and that'd be perfect. So thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it very much. Share the video so I can get more people to watch me because I know more people would love to see me make mistakes and then fix them, right? Because it's just... Yeah, me making mistakes and fixing them, it's just something special. So anyways, thanks guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.